Entering practice for the week, I think, you know, everyone was happy that we got into playoffs. Matching up against Vancouver, I think we all knew that it was gonna be a tough match. I mean, we had just recently played them and didn't have a great result. Um, so we knew that, you know, it was gonna be one of the one of the toughest matches we could have been dealt. I think everyone was pretty excited uh, for the week. You know, practice overall was doing pretty well. We had a, a really good set of scrims where we had very tough opponents for the week. I mean, that kind of happens on playoff week because the teams that aren't in the playoffs are generally not practicing. Um, so, you know, we got a lot of practice against some of the higher end playoff teams, which was really good for our growth. It was definitely a unique week, um, one that I think was very beneficial. So there's always two sides to the preparation. Uh, the first side is to make sure that um, you understand how your team plays and that you're working on the things that we can improve on as, as a team. And the second thing is to understand how the enemy team plays. The 3-3 three, three meta has a lot of different styles and every team kind of plays their own different style. And Vancouver is one of those teams that has a very unique style. So overall, like we knew how Vancouver was going to present themselves and what comps they were gonna play. It was pretty straightforward. Um, and we had a choice of whether or not we could, you know, try to go for like these hard counter cheese comps, um, or we could just keep working on the stuff that we've been working on all stage. We opted to uh, try to maximize our ability on 3-3. On three, three. I feel like we had a chance at, at beating their style. Just kind of allowed us to kind of expand a little more on some stuff that we've been working on. We wanted to make sure that, you know, as a team, we showed up well and that, that on match day, like we, we had a good match. Even if we didn't win, we wanted to make, you know, just show that we could scratch them and show that we can be a good team. You know, I'm actually from Vancouver. I lived there for the past couple of years before moving down here. And I'm very ready to take a win away from them. Woo! Little pre-match meal. Yes, it's the meal of champions. And uh, some broccoli too, because broccoli is good. Pretty confident that if we can pull something on the first map, we can snowball all of it. It's a question of confidence, kids. Remember. This is Vancouver. Going into match day, I think everyone was just trying to be as focused as possible. Um, when you get matched up with someone like Vancouver, it's definitely tough. But I think everyone showed up very focused, and that's what I could ask for. You know, you show up, you be positive, you be focused, and just you're ready to do your best and give everything you have. Um, and it was clear that everyone showed up that way. All right, we've been working all stage for this, okay? Now, it doesn't matter how tough the opponent is, the most important thing is that we give it our all. Regardless of what's happening, if we're up, if we're down, doesn't matter, we give it our all, and we, we leave it all on the stage, okay? All right, so we're gonna burn blue on three, ready? One, two, three, burn blue! Although I will say, even though it's a seven over two, Fuel beating the Titans would be a far greater upset, perhaps the biggest upset we've ever seen in the Overwatch League, because Vancouver has yet to be beaten in the Overwatch League. They're all gonna be have to be at the top of their game if they wanna compete against the Titans. Just, just play like we have nothing to lose, guys, because we have nothing to lose. It's players, we don't care. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, guys. Then trying to cut the team in half on the side of the Dallas Fuel. It works, you lose OG, but you've lost the main source of damage now for the Titans as well. Quick kills have to come in here for the Titans in order for them to stabilize, and it's looking like that's going to happen. And they will be picking up the first control. Oh, so you're not able to close it out. There it is, flank shatter straight in. Kill on closer, Zachary gone as well. Ah, spoke too soon. Note as well, someone through the aim, the tracking, so good. We're up at 99%, and it's just like that. Ah, oh, Hex, it's unbelievable. Dallas Fuel, not able to... I think one of the things that Vancouver surprised us with on Oasis was how willing to commit ultimates to a fight that they're down in. So whether, even if they're in like a 5v6 or sometimes a 4v6, if they have ultimates coming online that could maybe win, win that and turn that fight, they were willing to do it. So I think that style kind of caught us off guard. And in the first map, it was a lot closer than it looked on paper. And the second map was even uh, pretty close as well. Like, don't... Don't stress out, don't give up now. Like, we need to give everything in this. Uh, they're trying to get it in here. Now Transcendence comes out on the other side. They do trade out, OG goes down, slime out of it. it means he's not gonna be back at the point for a very long time. And with the Diva D-Mac and Hoxo falling, Dallas will take the first point of King's Row. Three players alive here for Dallas, but now they're gonna run head first into the rest of the Titans. That's uh, still not gonna be enough. You keep losing players like this, eventually you will get pushed off, and that is where the payload will stop. Here too, but that's all good. Rally comes in. 
looking for it. And again, no. Two big self-destruct kills as soon as the fight starts off. So soon trying to kick it off with the grab. Trying to bring the Dallas Fuel in. Once again, Dope delivers. Dope gonna be able to buy a bit of time here. Fancy footwork on his side, but OG eventually gonna get whittled down, and this is going to be at the Titans. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Oh, my bad. to extend okay, their lead in this enough. series. Win on King Row. Entering halftime, we were able to take a moment and talk about it all, kind of get on the same page. That, like that map, like even though we had little mistakes, like that's, that's what we need to go for, okay? We need to be aggressive, we need to be calculated. When we made our plays, like we were committing to them and calling targets listening, so. Like, even though it was like, it was super close on both ends, our attack and defense, like we have what it takes to win it, okay? So even though they're up 2 well, forget it. Literally nothing else matters. This, you know, doesn't matter at all, okay? What matters is Anubis. They are willing to overcommit ults to these fights. So when we get a pick, make sure like we're still focused on the fight. It's not automatically over. We still have to clean it up, okay? And they're gonna be able to save a couple too. This Nano is gonna be saved for Bumper and it'll get him back up to primal levels too. This has been completely one-sided. You got a hamster squeaking his way through this fight. It's not gonna be for long though with the bio nade. No healing for note, and that will be the Titans. Fade the fate of the floor to mayhem. The FPL is ready. They will not join that illustrious club. Oh, this one's over. This one is absolutely over. Style points going to the Vancouver Titans. And as clean uh, as GG's. it gets, the okay. one Thanks, is that GG's, the GG's. On to stage three. I think we we didn't quite execute the way we wanted to. Some of our, our communication didn't work out like we wanted it to. So uh, Vancouver were able to, you know, full hold us. And and overall, I think even though that we got 3 0 like there was a lot for us to look at, the very positive side of things. And there's a lot that we can learn from. You know, you don't get to play in playoff matches that often. And playing in a setting with that kind of pressure and that, you know, kind of stuff is very good practice for the future. So I think the team handled that loss kind of naturally. I mean, everyone was kind of, was kind of down. I mean, that's just pretty normal. And we felt like, um, you know, we could have done maybe a little better in that series. But overall, you know, I tried to make sure everyone was focused on that we had a very positive stage and that our goals are the season playoffs, not the stage playoffs. I know it sucks we lost today, but we get to focus on stage three now, okay? Um, remember, the loss here doesn't affect anything about our season standings. Our goal is season playoffs, so like it sucks, but we move on, okay? Don't, don't be stressed out. Enjoy your break, but yeah, GG's today, okay? Keep your head up. We've got stage three to focus on, stage four to focus on, all right? Thinking back on our stage, um, overall, I'm very proud of what we accomplished. We grew a lot as a team. And I think this stage is very, very crucial in our timeline. I'm really proud of the team and how far we've come. Uh, there, we, we, made, we had a lot of changes between stage one and stage two, a lot that most teams normally won't go through. But, you know, we did it and we handled it really well and we came out still very positive. So now, now that our playoff matches are done um, in stage two, uh, everybody's kind of on break right now. It's it's time to, you know, rest, relax, and try to get refocused for the next stage. And so it's an opportunity for everyone to kind of look back at how they performed in the stage and do their own self-evaluation and everything. So um, staff included. So I think it, it, this is a good time for us to, you know, recharge and just be ready for the next stage. So we're going to come into stage three, where we're going to show everyone that we're here to play.